Hey, we're Drax Project. Hey. About to do an interview for the Zach Sang Show, and it's going to get ridiculous. Crazy. Fire, like it's hot Cheetos. Hot, che <laughs> it's hot, hot Cheetos. Crazy. Hot Cheetos. Hard hitting. We talk about the video, we talk about music, we talk about the music video, talk about and a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> 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 Let's do this. Zach Sang Show. Zach Sang Show. Zach Sang Show. Hello, beautiful humans. We uh, welcome to the studio. Woo! Drax Project. Right. Hi. How's it going? Yeah. Hello. Woo. hello, hello, hello. Energy is high. Morale is high. And Morale through the roof, high. actually. New Zealand human beings <laughs> here in the studio, just boot, just really blowing the roof off the place. <laughs> <laughs> so Shane with two A's, did I say that right? Or two so it's uh, Sean. Sean. So like it's like yeah. it's like an, like an, an, it's like an American Sean, but without the like the O. Oh. Oh. It's like a just straight up like ah. Got it. Hi Sean. Yeah, yeah, that's it, bro. Good to see you. Did yeah, you bring you too, a saxophone bro. with you? Um, we actually. I mean, it's outside. Do you carry it with you all the time? Kind of, yeah. Why? Pocket, pocket sex. <laughs> I mean, just in case. For man. questions like this, you do know. you have the sex on you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. It's the you ultimate party trick. Uh -huh. Yeah, bro. It I actually is. I'm also convinced that if you just carry around a case, like an instrument case, it <laughs> automatically makes you more attractive and just more people <laughs> want to talk to you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you can get into festivals easily. Yeah. Oh, because they think you belong. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're like, I've got to oh. perform. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> just yeah. one of the group. Even you know? just yeah, a music yeah. stand. Yeah, a music stand will do. Wow. Just anything. Look at you. Well, nice to see you, Sean. You too. Matt, hello. Hello. Look at you. You play the drums? Yeah, I do. The two uh, <laughs> crucial instruments that make made up Drax Project from the very beginning, a saxophone and a drum. Mm, that's yeah. true, bro. But Drums plus sax, Drax. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Who was high and thought of that? <laughs> <laughs> that was like, I that was like know. an idea, like maybe it was either me, my brother, Matt, or my mom. Yeah. I don't know who that came from. <laughs> well, why do you leave your mom in there? Because I was living with my mom and we were like busking and we were like, man, we need to make a band name. Cause People were filming us on yeah. like, what are you guys called? What are you guys called? Posting like, it on YouTube and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we didn't have a name, so we just we did just the called most ourselves Drax basic projects. thing ever. What do we play? Drums. Sex. What else? Sex. Drax. Drax. And then, Whoa! <laughs> and we just whacked a, a project on there and... Yeah. And then we were stuck with it. L look at y'all now. Can't change it now. Really special. How did you get your name? Uh, it, I was born with it. Whoa. Oh. That's really cool. Whoa. Whoa. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. My mom gave me the name Zach and then my Sang is my family name for a very long time. <laughs> that makes sense. That's cool. Got are a nice ring to it. Are you playing catch with the microphone back there, Bliss? Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> Bliss. <laughs> <laughs> Who plays the double bass? You? Yeah. It's pretty sick, Sam. I don't play double bass all the time, but when twice I can. Twice the amount of bass. Yeah. That's a lot of bass. It is. <laughs> it is yeah, twice the amount. It's crazy. <laughs> How does that work? Is there like literally two necks to the bass? Uh, I, that was a joke. <laughs> uh, sorry. But like, yeah. no, but you play, but I'm very confused. I yep. don't play instruments, clearly. Okay. Uh, what is a double bass? Is it's, that a, it's basically a... Basically, see what I did there. Um, oh, a, I saw a huge, it. Humor. a huge violin. Oh, you know, you know what I mean. Like when you see it in like orchestra, yes, my it's, friend plays one of those, but he just calls it a bass. Nobody calls it a. I, I've never heard yeah, him say so it's a double bass. It's like a stand up bass, 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 double yes, bass, stand up bass, acoustic bass, upright bass, is upright bass. Is it the same thing as a cello? No, it's, it's bigger like, than it's a cello. It's like a bigger, bigger than a cello and tuned in a different way. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Why did you feel like you needed that instrument to complement your saxophone and your drums? Well, we only played, I mean, we only ever use it in an acoustic Yeah, setup, we don't, yeah. I, I don't actually play stand-up bass, like, all the time. Double bass. It's double bass, stand-up mm -hmm. bass, whatever you want to call it. Um, all the time, it's just yeah for for acoustic situations and special acoustic situations. But like we that. did need some bass in there when it was just the yeah. drums and the saxophone because the drum like the drums are loud, you can dance to them easily. The saxophone provides the familiar familiar familiarity, familiarity. of like a so we we're, we're playing covers. W one of the classics was I'd like to move it, move it. Goes heavy. <laughs> But you need bass to like beef it up a bit. I yeah. totally get it. Yeah. Yeah, Make yeah. it come alive. But we, when we were playing, well, when I first joined um, Sean and Matt playing, like busking on the street, I had to take like a car bat battery thing, battery, uh -huh. um, and then run the bass amp like off that. So I was playing electric bass then. So it was like, 
super loud and we used to kind of sick. get we burn a hole in like matt's car with because the, the battery because <laughs> the, <fell. acid. laughs> the battery fell like over in the car what and the acid dripped out nice yeah. shirt that i've just bought from um, yeah. three hours of busking and the other like <laughs> nice acoustic guitarist buskers would be like look down the street at yeah, us with like, evil i think evil other eyes. buskers didn't really like us very much <laughs> but i mean but the people like did a long time ago yeah. yeah it seems like a long time ago how did your skill of being able to play the standard bass work when it's time to produce because some of the records have live instruments in there i'm assuming and hoping but a lot of it's produced right so correct is it the four of you that you put you put your brains together to create these tracks mm. yeah yeah, yeah. we haven't I, actually ever recorded acoustic bass we, upright bass no recently. we actually have a, a version of woke up like coming out sometime soon mm. um with acoustic bass in it yeah. but, but that that'll be the first time the, i feel like if you time. understand bass and gen this is quite theoretical but yeah. if you understand music and like where the bass fits in all music you can play on a double bass you can play it on a synth you can play it on a electric bass yeah it's if not like if you play double bass that's the only thing you can play and you can yeah. only put double bass on songs <laughs> it's yeah. just it's just about understanding different sounds and where they could fit and like you know maybe this in one song i might want to have synth bass and that works best or in another song i might have bass electric bass guitar and that works best. So like at a show, it's just you're, you're different ideas. Few, you play a few different things at a show, right? Yeah, I play um, synth, bass, and um, electric bass guitar. Why no stand up? Too hard to travel. Um, too hard to travel. It's kind of just doesn't really fit in our live show context. It's as hard to get it well. really loud as well. It's, yeah, because <laughs> it starts to feed back being an acoustic. It's like, it's like an orchestral kind of instrument, like yeah. 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 Ben, you join last. Yeah. Out of everybody, you play guitar. Yeah. Why? Well, you went to a different music school too. So the three of you went to school together. Yeah, these guys. These guys. I went to jazz school, and I went to it's like a like a commercial music school, which is like twenty minutes away from where these guys were. So what do you learn at a commercial music school that's different than what these guys are learning at the jazz New Zealand school of music, right? Well, these guys pretty much just did or did did just do jazz, and where I went, it was we did a real tiny little bit of. Actually, not really. It was <laughs> it was like more Blues, general. Like we did like recording, stuff. composition. It was like pop music. It was just a different music course, but still music. So you guys learn jazz. Why was jazz your first? Why did you want to get into jazz first? Or did you not yeah. want to do jazz? You well, were just forced I, I, that I way. I wanted to do it because, I mean, like, it makes sense playing the saxophone. Like, mm -hmm. going, I wanted to get better at it. There's, I didn't really want to do classical because there's not really... A, there's like a very specific thing you have to do if you like if you're like a classical saxophonist you're like you're a classical saxophonist can't really just like unless you like there wouldn't be that many touring yeah. classical saxophonists yeah, in the world yeah, right yeah i mean like doing jazz basically i guess it's just like if you learn how to play some jazz and you get pretty good at it you could probably do anything you wanted to do mm. it's like gives you the skill set and to, life yeah and and <laughs> it gives you it gives you like a really good base skill set like if you if you work really hard at it to kind of choose what you want to do like, and you, like yeah we don't play jazz now but like it definitely helped yeah yeah but you can hear those influences in your records totally like, it's, totally it's, and modern modern musical theory is you know jazz music is taught in modern music theory so um to understand the context of okay this chord fits with this chord and stuff like that uh when you learn jazz you kind of understand that and then that can be applied to pop or rock yeah. or any kind of like modern style music it gives you a foundation to build on yeah exactly exactly, exactly right yeah. wake up late slaps dude the record really <laughs> it, it it's awesome it slaps. Thanks, man. it's Thank very you. unique thanks, thanks so bro. much that's so cool <laughs> boom we love that word so do you write your records too just within the four of you, do you have co-writers come in? How does World it work? Woke Up Late was written by just us four, and we collaborated with this guy called Devin Abrams from New Zealand who produced the record with us. And so it was just us five. And um, But now that we're over here in the States, we're doing a bit more writing with other writers. Other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we write all of our songs, yeah. But are the four of you in the room every time? Yeah. Every, every time, yeah. Every time. Do Unless you, there's been one time just because the, si it, the size yeah. of the room, we couldn't all yeah. go in there. The size so of that couch. We split that, but. I was like, yeah, we're, we're always writing together. And whenever we're, coming, time, yeah. Yeah, whenever we're coming up, coming up with ideas, like, we'll show it to each other. Like, we've got a session today, like, with someone, and we just like, which what ideas do you want to float? And we just, we all have stuff like phone recordings or like guitar riffs or like lyrics, you know, anything. Yeah. So you independently gather your inspiration. Yeah. You huddle share your ideas pretty much and then you plan for the room 
Yeah, yeah. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. So why are you the one doing the vocals? Because I he got has the best voice. Sean is actually physically gifted with an amazing voice to start off with. So. <laughs> yeah. I, I yeah. mean, was that a known thing from the very beginning that you sang uh, and nobody else did? Th this is coming from my perspective of watching how it happened. Sean was a saxophonist first and foremost, but when I first met him. And I think him learning the saxophone actually taught him how to sing in a weird way. Yeah, like yeah. breath control and all that yeah. kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, like Strength is that and you're playing the, breathing. And you were playing the like melodies of the songs that we were busking yeah. with so i guess it kind of translated from you playing the yeah. melodies on saxophone to singing the melodies i like to move like, it. i used, I like I used to sing in a band in like high school and we did like rock competitions and stuff so i was singing before i joined the man band but i, I never felt like you got really good after I uh, like while we were busking yeah like you just got better yeah. and we used to sing in clubs and mm. and before we when we were busking on the street it was just saxophone and, and instruments there wasn't any singing because we didn't have a microphone and then when like bar managers walk past us and like come play in our bar, and when we started doing that, we had the op opportunity to like you know get a microphone involved, and I would just sing like the, the first verse, the only first though, verse, like, and like the hook, and then I'd do the would do the drop. For the second verse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it, was, the classic. it was like a slow progression in the band. Like I definitely didn't start off as like we're a band with a singer. It was like we're just a convenience like live dj it's like maybe you s <laughs> this could be good with vocals do so you yeah just you start singing like we would play yeah. like a whole a whole like two hour plus set with no singing when we first were starting to a room of like no one as well yeah. <laughs> or and a like, like a bar like ha like one third of the size of this room yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when do you decide to move from covers on the street to your own original music is it attached to your first ep that was somebody's school project so, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. How how do you know that? <laughs> the um, internet. Yeah, yeah, true, true. <laughs> it was actually Ben's friend. Ben, ben, when ben, where Ben was going called Futurea, yeah. his his mate Hamish was doing a project, and he said he wants to record, um, for his like degree, and we we decided to record music with him, and we released it on Bandcamp like ages like ago. Four songs. Yeah. I don't even know if you can still find it, but we'd yeah. been wanting to like write original music, um. But it only really kind of started to happen when Ben joined the band, and then yeah, that opportunity like, came up. We didn't up, have so. any uh, option to play like chords. Like we were just like bass, drums, and saxophone. Like, what <laughs> what are we doing? Like, <laughs> yeah. We need some chords. So need obviously Ben was like the perfect like addition to what we at the time like, which wasn't a band. And then so when we when Ben joined and when we first like had a jam with him. I think we were like writing a song like on the first jam, like yeah. Mm. You guys and had like a track that you'd written. Yeah, and you're like, and we can you sing? We, we wrote like, oh. it with you. Yeah, yeah. or yeah. finished it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. And then it was like the school that I was going to. It was like we were in our final year, and um, at that particular school, your final year was all self-directed, and you kind of just had one project that you would do for the whole year. And our friend Hamish Anderson has was to record. And like engineer, like an EP, hey, an EP. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and I was like, cool. I just joined this band. Let's do that. And, it was <laughs> and he sweet. moved. It, he took my room as well on the flat. So Sean, Sam, and oh, I. Oh yeah, were living. I didn't have. I was. Yeah, I. I didn't have anywhere to live at the time either. Like the people that I was gonna live with bailed, and I was just like couch surfing, and then had a jam with these guys, and it was like, cool. Do you know anyone looking for a, a room? Like Matt's moving out of the place. And I was like, I'm homeless as. And I was <laughs> so like, cool. Dude. Homeless and looking for a band. Yeah, two birds, one stone. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like it was a little bit like that. Yeah, it was cool. Um, yeah, and then we recorded this EP. It was actually <laughs> hilarious. We like got, got kicked out. Got kicked oh. out because we were like staying past like the curfew that you were meant to be there. And then my access for like the facility got cut. <laughs> <And then laughs> You're I, like, talking about the college facility that yeah. you were yeah, recording. Yeah, like, missed a test and like failed like a thing. Well, I, I didn't end up failing in the, like the at the very end, but at the time I like missed it and they failed me because I couldn't physically get into the building <laughs> we got, oh, so we got kicked access. out by the security guard it was all it was a big thing okay yeah. so you start writing your first original but then you meet this guy and then you rewrite that song pretty much yeah we just like finished it off it was like yeah and we put a guitar solo in of course but do yeah. you feel like you guys needed somebody who came from a different sort of learning environment the fact that he um, came from a school that did commercial music and the fact that you guys came from a school i don't that think that was a thought process jazz? yeah that was, it was it was like it was like we get along with this guy <laughs> Ben being this, this guy. <laughs> I, I, th I think we, yeah, it was vibes. just like good vibes. 
we enjoyed hanging out. He's a great guitarist, like could also sing. Kind of just made sense. He had like, long hair. Yeah, and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a laptop. laptop and so. he had a laptop. Yeah, right. so, it was crazy. So that's you're a rarity. Yeah, um, long hair and a laptop. Whoa, it's crazy man. No, but like in hindsight, did you supply a lot to these records? Like in the studio when you're crafting your first songs, or you're crafting "Wake Up Late." Do you just inherently know the format of a pop song? Uh, it's definitely been a process. We were terrible when we started, and we're still learning a lot. Because it really hasn't been that long. I think what I read online was that EP came out in like 2014, right? Yeah, it's yeah. been like four to five years. We kind of went through phases like these guys being at jazz school and then in the, the city that we were in, it was like pop. No one wanted to admit that we were like writing pop music and that we were a pop band. It was just like, nah, it was nah, like a like, dirty word. Put a key change in here <laughs> yeah. and like, now nah, the chords are too simple. It's like, let's change it up. So it was a big learning curve of like, we wrote a lot of horrible songs. Yeah. But it, you have to. Yeah. It became like <laughs> instead of instead of writing music and then having this little thing in the back of your head of like wanting to prove that you're a real musician, it's like, okay, sweet, we just gotta write these songs so that the songs are as good as they can possibly be. Yeah. And like it doesn't matter about if there's if it's really simple or if it happens to be really difficult. Whatever that is, as long as the song, as long is, as the good. song is good, yeah. yeah. And we didn't really That's realize the main this thing until like 2017, yeah. And it was like a really eye-opening moment. We had a a weekend where we hung out with this with these guys from a band from New Zealand called Six Sixty, and um and we hung out with them for a weekend and like wrote some songs with them, and they were like extremely kind and really open about their whole like experience of like becoming a band and writing music, and it was like hanging out with them and just seeing their process. And just how like they didn't care like what they would what they were making as long as it was good like there yeah. wasn't like any thought process like oh this sounds like something else oh this is too complex oh this is too simple it was just like just, just go with it keep yeah, running yeah, yeah. yeah. and and yeah, and, yeah. and the other so thing the other thing that they said was like when you hear a good song it could be you know on the radio as a fully recorded track or if somebody plays it you know just guitar or just piano and and vocals it should sound good, you know, like that's what you that's should the be able to. Of a good song. You yeah. should be able to write the song all the way through and play it all the way through in in the context of one instrument and vocals, and it will sound good. And yeah. that's how you know. And like when you say that, it sounds so simple and obvious, and it's just like, of course, that's why would it be any other way? But at the time, we were like getting distracted by the production or like just yeah. if the song was cool or not, like not if it was a good song. Just like, overthinking. Yeah. Just overthinking everything, and mm. and now like we have. We don't have like a process down, but we definitely have a process that is that we were refining and is working. Like we're writing a lot more music now, which is that we think is better than what, so than what we were doing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are, are you saying you're creating music that's better than Wake Up Late? Yeah, big time. Should, yeah, I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the vibe is. What oh, year did you do that record? <laughs> it's fine. Uh, 2017. So, wait, you, which, which record? Wake, oh, up, Wake late. up Late. Wake, yeah, up late. Yeah. Wake Up Late. I'm sorry. Wake Up Late. You hang up with that band you understand a ton of new stuff when it comes to creating music yeah. Yeah. by the way th you know that is i've heard so many musicians and songwriters say the exact thing that you just said right sure. <laughs> you can only tell that a song is good until you play it on a guitar acoustically or a piano acoustically yeah top to bottom and that's how you judge it yeah because you're right people have the ability to get lost in these productions and fancy things that really have the chance to muddy up a great story exactly mm. And that's that, what it's about as well, story, totally. The, the story never gets a chance to shine if you're distracted by a thousand other things. Yeah. Mm. Um, so you hang out with this band, you learn a whole bunch of new stuff, a new outlook, new creation process, kind of, mm. and then you create Woke Up Late. Is that the first record you guys? It was the it was first one that well, we... Uh, I feel the first like, one, no. We no. were like writing true, true. Just as much as we could. Um, we were, at the time, we were wanting to do, put out an album. So we, at, in, in our heads, we're like, cool, we're writing for an album. And, and this is after the EP. The EP We'd actually done, done two, the two EPs before that. Got so it. we did one by ourselves, one with Devin, who also helped us on the production with Woke Up Late. Cool. And then so we'd, we'd released that EP and then we were trying to write an, an album. So trying to write a bigger body of work. So just yeah. writing as much as we could and we kind of... We were all working day jobs, like... They, they were painting. Sam was at a youth center. I was selling insurance. Like we were still doing like <laughs> yeah. day job stuff. This is 2017. Mm, and yeah. we kind of like Sean came up with like the initial idea. Well, actually, when we came up with Woke Up Late, we were at 
house. We'd, we're at, at my house in my room where we were like recording and we'd been working on other songs and it was real, it was like, it was like, like 11, 11 12. 12 o'clock at night and um, I wanted to go to sleep and Sean's like, cool, I'll leave and leaves to catch a bus home and then comes back like 20 minutes later like, I actually don't have my bus card on me. I can't catch the bus, so can I stay here? I was like, oh, okay, sweet. And then, <laughs> and then I, I like went out to make a cup of tea or something and then came back and Sean had come up with the, the guitar line. Mm-hmm. It was kind of humming a melody. We're like, oh, that's pretty cool. Like we recorded what we had and like made some horrible drums for it and then I reckon the drums were flames <laughs> they were horrible Just drums <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was it that you were uh, humming before like what what was it was just we made the guitar line and the woke up late somewhere far away the, from this, home yeah. pockets empty wallet gone and pretty much that was all that was made at that stage yeah right. and we kind of had that little idea and we showed everyone and it was just like oh this that is cool, cool. Thing. Like, I remember Matt saying this is so good <clears throat> when we heard this but, little part but for whatever reason we kind of just we like left it. it we just for... kind of almost forgot that that song was around because we were working on other music that we were excited we're about. We're thinking at the album, time. album, 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 and, album. And, and, and we're in this in the studio with Devin, um, producer, and also those guys from Six Sixty. Actually, they mm, were they were in they the were lounge. In, they were in town, and they were like we we're all kind of hanging out together. And then Sham played, um, woke up late like to the verse what we had, and like the chorus that had like cre- I don't know we had been working on randomly. Yeah, and then like you guys have to record this, and we're like, and we're like okay, <laughs> and we like recorded it, and it was like the to put the guitar and the vocals. And we kind of finished writing it, and everyone put their ideas down. Like the the drums, the like the first thing that we we kind of were looking at it like the idea is good, the guitar and the vocals are cool. Let's not let anything get in the way it's like of that. to support so it's like that the drums yeah. are real simple the first like the bass line that's in the track and the bass sound even is the first thing that sam tried which i made at the youth center that i was, <laughs> he working, was working at, at yeah <laughs> and the song just kind of finished we just almost like accidentally finished the song it was just like oh this is done this I is think. cool this yeah. is done like our manager we... was like this is so good he even like helped us with the arrangement and stuff yeah mm. and, and we then just... we, fr- we frankensteined a, a little bit from oh my god yeah places. two year old like melody you had we made into the bridge wow yeah, yeah. it was it was bizarre. it was like a really organic and kind of easy just it was just like we didn't think about anything too much and everything just kind of fit in mm. to place and then we wanted to release a single we wanted to release new music and our manager was like this is released woke up late and and we did and it was just number was, one on and then Shazam. we got to quit our jobs like three months later yeah it was it, was, it, was, it had been out for maybe two weeks or something and then we got to open for lord in auckland in new zealand but did you even have more records beyond woke up late we we were we playing like a combination stuff. of the songs from the previous two eps and then versions of you know, like other people's songs, covers, you know, yeah. covers, and, covers, yeah. Yeah, and, and songs that we were also still writing, like we always play yeah. unreleased stuff that we're still working on to see how it goes and yeah. what the reaction's like and oh, yeah. that worked, that didn't work, you know. You'll often hear <clears throat> unreleased material. We all, yeah, shows. we love playing yeah. stuff that we haven't released yet. So, yeah. Woke Up Late changes your life. Is, the rec- is it the same exact record, same exact production, the original compared to the one with Haley Seinfeld? You yeah. didn't update a single thing? Uh, slightly different. We changed... Well, we didn't actually change any of the parts. We got it remixed. And okay. We, oh, we bought... We, we, added we the changed kick. where the kick drum comes in. Yeah, the, that's the kick like drum. A, a little bit faster as well. Oh, yeah, we, 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 we put sped it up by 1 BPM. BPM. So, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> one the kick BPM. drum comes in earlier, and yeah. it was mixed by a different different person. Yeah. yeah. Can you hear the differences? Yeah. Totally. As musicians? Like, absolutely. the original version is amazing, and the newer version is, like, just as good. Like, obviously, it's got Haley on it, based drum earlier slightly faster yeah did, did she take over your verse or did you write a new verse for her she just she, she, Haley sung the bridge okay. which is like the verse reprise and then there's like a whole bunch of ad libs and harmonies at the end together which was yeah. there, like the lyrics and melody is what sean had in there originally yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's pretty it's the exact same version like lyrically were you in the studio when she cut it no we we got sent them and we she, heard we were in new zealand and she did it that was here. a crazy day yeah it was we a got crazy sent day. her stems and like where our um studio is that we work out of it's in like an old tv studios and there's a bunch of other people walking around and we like turn the speakers down real <laughs> quiet because we didn't want anyone to hear it was like all hush hush and we we're like playing it and we're like oh there's like the first take we listened to she laughs and we we're like oh lost. We're like, ah, she laughs. This is crazy. because you know it had like all of the long yeah, takes yeah. it's like okay are we ready to go yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. okay and, like, and then American she goes like, it's like whoa holy yeah anyway. she likes things like woke up late we're like no oh, oh, it's crazy. What the? Yeah, it was, <laughs> and then we turned it up and it was cool did you send her any notes 
Nah, we, no. like, we just we, we, we just like arra- we just put all the stems in and like yeah, ad libs uh, like where we thought we should go and then it got mixed. That's yeah, it. it was like done. Yeah. So woke up late really changes your lives. Yeah. Yeah. It gives Definitely. you the reason to quit a job. Definitely did. Puts you on stage with Lord. Yeah. yeah. It pretty much brings you here. Does that get you signed to 300? Yep. Yeah. Yep. That was the song that they... they it was um through Shazam, I think they noticed. It was top of Shazam in New Zealand for like three months, maybe, and that got 300 attention. attention and, yeah. yeah. And they heard the song, and I think our a and like Allison, she had heard it at a party. Someone was playing it. I was like, check this song out or something like that. I don't know the full story, but yeah. She so, told our manager, like, you need to come to New York to oh, yeah. meet me. And he's like, oh... It's, it's like it's December in, in New Zealand at the time, which is like summer. Beautiful. He's like, oh, we're on like our 30th day of consecutive sunshine and it's <laughs> snowing in New York. Like, why didn't you come to New Zealand? And she had actually like studied abroad in New Zealand like oh, wow. a couple years ago for yeah. like university. And she's like, I love New Zealand. And she came out. That's weird. Yeah, it was cool. It, it was, was really bizarre. cool. Like, yeah, this she, is awesome. <laughs> she's hooked. She wants it. Yeah. She yeah. flew to freaking New Zealand. Yeah. 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 That's like a 24-hour flight. Yeah. It's, it's from long, New York. It's from New that. York, it would be like, what man, yeah, she definitely, it was like, like 18, probably like yeah. 18, 20 hours. Oh, yeah. sounds like torture. <laughs> um, whoa. So why America, though? Why is America a territory that you need to take over? Because you mentioned 660. They're abandoned in New Zealand. There's a lot of New Zealand, Australian local artists that have amazing careers throughout those countries. Mm. They tour that entire territory. You guys can own it, we, right? We love, like, obviously we're from New Zealand. We're so proud of being from New Zealand, and we love playing shows there, and we love being there. Um, but New Zealand, at the end of the day, is like, quite a small place and i think we We've had all we'd out. always want the music that we listen to is made for, by people from all over the planet you know and the music that we like and the state seems to be just one of those places where everybody seems to come and convene so i think that was especially la yeah, yeah. especially la and i think um we'd all wanted to get out of new zealand as well and travel and like do as much of that as we could but we decided to put the band first and kind of just like stay in New Zealand and and work on making our music as good as we could until music took us other places so I think that that was um it was a kind good of part of the motivation yeah yeah, yeah I mean it, and you're young so you, it, it makes sense to do it now mm. yeah is there any thought in your brain of it like even the possibility of it not working out here in the states, does that has that ever entered your mind throughout this journey? It so definitely far? entered a mind that it would not work out. Full stop. Like before, woke up late. There was like we were like, you know, it was like I can't even explain it. Like it was opportun- There was like the possibility that like we just like kind of just like oh whoops we 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 failed. Yeah. We, tr- <laughs> Give we, up we tried. Yeah. We tried and it just didn't work for whatever but, reason. Yeah, it's like. The fact that we're even like in LA now, like talking to you, is just absolutely like mind blowing. It's like yeah. it's like nothing. Nothing's a sure thing for sure, but like we're just loving it while we're doing it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, there, there, and also, I think another thing that we all had in common from the beginning is that there wasn't like a specific place we wanted to go, but there also wasn't a limit to how far we wanted to take anything. Mm. So we're like, we're always thinking as big as we can, we're always thinking as far as we can and doesn't matter. Like, just like, just do it as best as we can and we'll see what happens rather than, I want to be as big as the person in front of me. Not so much that, but I want to be as big as the person who's the biggest, you know, like yeah, yeah. aim for like the best, like the Ariana Grande, like the Ed Sheeran, like try and make songs as good as those, so, those yeah, people Yeah, we just want to write like the best music that we possibly can yeah. and like, what did they say? Like, this is saying shoot for the stars or something? Yeah, yeah. You know, yes. it's, it's kind of like that sort of <laughs> mentality. That's real cheesy, but... And, and like, also on the cheese note, there's we wrote um, the song Toto, and it's like, the best part is... There's a lyric in there, and it's like, the best part is the ride. Like, we just try and enjoy doing this every day. We're stoked that we get to do this for our jobs. And Yeah. Ben that's, constantly that's kind of reminds us. He's like, we're on the clock, boys! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, we're, <laughs> yeah. we're, like, chilling, like before an interview or something he's like we're on the clock <laughs> yeah how many songs do you have set for this album we're looking at ten, um, ten. Ten, 10 total we have we have a lot of music but we want to release a 10 track album how many songs are you sitting on like 20, 30 40 30, i don't 40, know yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a lot of stuff a lot wow of, yeah. and then not, a ho- not all, whole bunch of other like ideas mixed mastered finished yeah. tracks obviously yeah. but 
But 10 is where you want to settle for the album. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you have an idea of what those 10 are? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have, we know what nine of those will be. Wow. So we're, yeah, we're looking, we really want to release it this year. Like we're hoping to release it now. Well, what? we will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll come out this we're year. releasing an album yeah. this year. Yeah. What story are you telling with this album? Honestly, it's actually quite a, a, a diverse collection of music. Like it's the first time we, we will have ever released a, like a collection of work that's more than five songs. Yeah. Mm. And I feel like right now there's like some songs that have a similar vibe, pop, R&B, whatever, spicy pop. But like there's a lot of, there's like music with like big drops, like huge saxophone drops. We haven't really ever it's recorded real- saxophone much before. Yeah. So there's a, lot, there's a little bit of saxophone on this record, which it, we're really happy about. It's really about. exciting, like how we... S- we said before like we always when we're writing in the process of writing songs we always like road test it and see how um see how the crowd reacts and what works what doesn't work like some of the songs that <clears throat> are going on the album we've been playing for like a year and a half two years like wow. just yeah. at shows and people are just like when are you going to release that song what's <laughs> happening with that song and like some of them we're finally releasing them so we're just so excited <laughs> yeah. yeah and like because we all listen to different types of music and we've always been we've written songs that are more pop or more r&b or more hip-hop based and not all of them have like seen the light of day but on this album there's a big combination of Hmm. woke up late songs that sound like you know in that kind of vein and then there's more that have like a hip-hop beat behind them and there's saxophone going on or there's more r&b track and yeah anybody rapping or just Uh, still singing uh, we're looking really oh yeah you rapping (laughs) you i'm not you're gonna gonna jump on maybe well, you we're you out. well. It's uh, yeah. There'll be some. Co- there'll be some cool. Things there'll be some happening. features. There's there'll some be some features. Features. Yeah. Features? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hopefully. Do you do you sing talk ever? Like sing talk? Yeah, you sing yeah. talk. You sing talk. You, you, what, what are you what, talking? Or about? is it talk play, sing? Talk. What do you mean? We played like, that outcast song. Remember, um, roses. We oh, used yeah, to play. The, we used to play this like every show gig thing and sean would rap like the whole second verse i don't really do much rapping i'm not that good at it i'll just stick to singing and the saxophone <laughs> and the yeah. saxophone, Sax- yeah. saxophone i just realized that your last name's sang and his last name's sing whoa it's s-i-n-g-h oh mine is s-a-n-g i can see yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> oh, yours actually oh. oh. now you know <laughs> By the way, Toto's a great song. I really Thanks, like bro. it. Thanks, Thanks man. Yeah, it's it was fun. really, it's really good. Trip. Obviously, you're you're poking fun at New Zealand and Toto, right? Like that's the kind of vibe I got from this. Like because it's Toto, right? That's what you're talking about. It's like, like, like we, we use the reference of the band, um, you know, Toto and their song Africa. Yeah. We were like when we were writing the song, it was like, should we do it? Should we not? And the lyric is. Um, so I song- want to I want to bless the rains and dance away like Toto. Toto. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's funny. Bless the how's it how does their one go? Oh, bless the rains down in Africa. Yeah, bless the rains. So we decided to write. Hey. I want to bless the rains and dance away like Toto. Or dance away. Yeah, dance away. There's also like like Toto like the dog. You know, like Wizard of Oz. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know. oh anyway, yeah. yeah. I'm anyway, aware. anyway, it was just, yeah, it was just supposed to be kind of like a. I don't really. That song Africa has just a happy vibe. Yeah. So and you're that matching was, that vibe in yeah, Toto? Trying yeah. to. That's, but that's even, vibe. even that song, like, we played that. We opened for Ed Sheeran mm. in New Zealand. We did three shows with him, which was crazy. And we played Toto before it was released. And we were still, like, working on it. Mm. And we weren't sure about the lyrics in the, the pre chorus. We're like, ah, oh, they might be all good. Well, I'm not sure. We're just sitting on them. And we played the song. And after the show, we got a, um, a DM on Instagram from this girl, like, what is the song? I love these lyrics and she'd written out the pre-chorus and was just like when you're releasing this song i really connected with it yada yada we're like oh read it we're like well done songs that's done, the okay. song yeah. let's not change it release like, the song send yeah. it off to, send it off <laughs> it's crazy yeah. the ultimate hype yeah. 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 yeah 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 what are you thinking woke up late's about a one night stand right i mean like it's is a bit of imagination involved probably so but nobody like, this isn't written about somebody's night i feel like it is <laughs> <laughs> i think everybody or a lot most people have sure. a story similar to that yeah. that they can relate to. It was like it was like written like like based on truth, but yeah. with some like magical magic. magic. Yeah. Spiced it up a bit. Yes, but you gotta spice it up. Just exaggerate you know? exaggerate truth, that yeah. truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good. And then why Maybe. did you decide to have Liza Koshi in the music video? Well she honestly, is just a she's ball the of best. fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We um we obviously wanted to get like someone we really liked. We had a dream list. 
she was r- right very, at the top, very yeah. high up on that list. Who else and was and she was so she, keen. Yeah. Like she which she was so like stoked and she's like the, she's she was all in. Like it was crazy. She's all in. We, that was, we, that's a good one. We were like it. quite nervous because you know we're like in in LA shooting a music video like from New Zealand it was like oh what a, what how's it going to be we didn't know what to expect and we were lucky we got to like meet with the like choreographers bef- like a couple days beforehand and Wildebeest. they were kind of like shout out like, <laughs> just walking us through like movements and like how how we should be you know and then um Liza comes in and she's just like yo what's <laughs> up and it was just like yeah. Morel was just, just like the Have you seen have you seen those you know those balls like the electric balls and then you touch the thing and it's like yeah, yep. it was, it was like, like she's like a mobile <laughs> version like, of that. Yeah. Like, yo, what's up, what's up? Like, introduce herself to everyone, just like so pumped and willow. Yeah. And she said she's just like she's so happy to be like the girl in a music video. Yeah. So it was like crazy for us because we're her, like her first music video. Yeah. And we like we were like freaking out because like we're like hanging out with like Liza Koshi. And like she's gonna be on a music video, and she's real stoked to be in our video. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What? Like, was yeah, work, it yeah. was it was cool. It was really cool. The people love Liza. Yeah, yeah people yeah. love Liza. We love C-Y, Liza. She's so cool. She's, she's so just cool. funny, funny and quirky, and herself. I mean, you can probably tell, like, when we hang out, we kind of get a bit silly and say stupid things she's, to each other. She's but right but in she there. fit right in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you guys want somebody with like a big name like that in the video? Is it? I mean, it sure helps the views. Sure, I guess yeah. so. I mean, like. Why not? <laughs> no, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like the perfect thing, you know. She's like got like a massive fl- following, but also, also she's just so cool and like really down to earth. It was yeah. just really just the perfect fit. Did uh, she have? Did did they tell did you guys tell her how to dance, or did she just kind of dance? She, she honestly just, she is so and amazing. Starts dancing, we're like, she, no Whoa. one knew that she could dance that well. I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know. She's yeah. so yeah. good. She's, just she's like, like, I doing can't it. dance. Like, and she kept telling us, like, you guys can dance. You guys, you guys get lessons. And we're, we're like, like awkwardly like. like uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. She comes in doing the splits. Yeah, like oh, I just, see, it was on the bus or something. She yeah. just dropped her down. She's crazy, like Wildebeest. Yeah, Wildebeest was like, what? You, <laughs> this I is mean, awesome. Yeah. He, he, he was, was like, like, I don't even I have to do, do anything. anything. <laughs> like, this is crazy. I yeah. don't even. Yeah, I, I, she's amazing. She's like so talented. Yeah. Well, how was it filming for you? I mean, you guys got pretty close. A little bed scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was it was hilarious. Um, like the last scene Colin Tilly the director at the right at the end he's like and now kiss <laughs> she's like what <laughs> <laughs> it was so crack out I was like oh what he was like I'm just taking the first guy <laughs> yeah. it was super funny yeah it was uh, she's like she made the whole thing so easy like I was like awkward like I was like ah uh, and she's like she grabs my hands and just puts it on my face. face she's like it's okay you can touch my face <laughs> I'm like okay okay it's okay <laughs> so she just made everything feel so comfortable and yeah, really grateful for her. Was it your first music video? Oh, we had done, we made a music video for Woke Up Late in New Zealand when it first came out. Mm. And that was with um, Lee Gingold, the director, and the dancer was just our friend, Sydney. And um, like that was, that's an amazing video. We love that video. But mm. um, we wanted to release another one with like the feature and for an American market. So yeah, that's why we redid the video. But it's the first time. It was our ben. first video in like in the states. Mm. So it's like it's our second nervous. music video. Yeah. But yeah. police escorting yeah. the bus around, shutting down streets. It was actually LA. insane. What? Yeah, for yeah. us. Like showed up and so like cars been towed because they were like where the set should be, and we we're like, I felt oh, so bad. Why? I was like, no, <laughs> <I> don't <laughs> tow. <totally laughs> why? Why wasn't Haley in the video? It's a good question. I'm not sure. She's oh. very busy. Yeah, she's yeah, busy. Girl. She's did got, did she's you guys sneak her in there? I saw somebody pointed out that she, her face was somewhere in like yeah, we got a, post a couple of little posters. posters okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I got to sneak her in there somehow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Any other questions? Well, uh, did did you guys pick Haley for the remix, or did somebody pick that for you? Well, we we didn't we didn't pick her when we first wrote Woke Up Late. We're like, this could work as a as a duet. Mm. It's got that vibe to it, but at the time we didn't do it. We just released the song and. By ourselves and then when we toured europe with camila cabello somehow through camila's team like yeah. mutual friends with Haley, and Haley heard the track and wanted to be on it and oh. we were just back in new zealand and our manager comes into our studio when we were writing and he's like do you guys want Haley to feature on the track <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, literally like, we're just like <laughs> we're just what is like, like yeah we're like <laughs> yes yeah yeah. And we and we love um, starving as well. Like that, like was one of our favorite songs to reference when we're like writing music. Her is, one was Z. Z. Yeah. And what, Haley. What do you like about that song? Bro, the guitar. Everything is so good. The guitar, the guitar and the melody. Work the so the well. switch from like this organic, just like guitar and vocal verse to this like 
fat drop like that just <laughs> yeah. comes out of nowhere but it like feels the blend the blend song. of those two things like one of them so well it's a beautiful song like yeah. the production is so sick the and story obviously the yeah it's, i mean it's a massive song yeah mm. it's sick. <laughs> do we have a date on this album not yet. Not yet. Not a specific date. It's sooner than later. Sooner than later, yeah. <laughs> well, sooner rather than later, yeah. Come back when it's out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we would love to. Yeah, this, is, this has been awesome. Mikasa Sukasa. Wake up late. That is the record. Deserves your late. ear. Both the original. Woke up late. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> woke up late. Deserves your ear. Both sings, it originally sings, was sings, called, sang, it originally was called woke, <laughs> Wake Up Late. Ah, That's the original see, voice note. Wake I'm Up Late. A, I'm an OG person. I'm an original guy. Hipster. Uh, but seriously, deserves your both the original and the remix with Haley Steinfeld. Drax Project. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks, Thanks for us. Thank, Thank you. you. We appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed that conversation. If you did, please subscribe and also check out our podcast. There's a link in the description. And also comment and like and do things. Other interviews are on the screen somewhere. So click them. Thanks for watching.